What's going on, folks? I'm K Spade, the prospect. I'm also the leader of the Wolfpack, and I'm back today to feed my wolves with a fat, juicy steak of a video, man. I got a brand new NCAA football Miami Hurricane Dynasty video. Folks, we got a kind of easy game this week. You know how I normally do when we got easy games. I turn up. I try to run the score up. I try to embarrass them. I try to make sure that that school remembers playing the University of Miami for the rest of their lives. These dudes are going to grow up, be adults, have kids, have grandkids, and they're going to tell their grandkids, when I was 20 years old, I played against Miami, and they kicked our ass. That's what I want them to tell their grandkids. But I'm going to kind of turn down today. We got Florida Atlantic. Let me let you know why I'm turning down. I'm going to try to run new plays in this game. Now, you know, when you play a football game, you kind of get your favorite plays and you go to plays. You go to those plays a lot. And I found myself getting to the point where I'm doing that more than I want to. I got about, I ain't even going to lie, y'all. I got 10 to 12 plays. You know what I'm saying? And that's not me. I want to be in my playbook. So when I get a comfortable lead, which I fully intend to get one, what was that, Jerome? Jerome with a great catch, turns around, heads up field, trucks somebody, drops the football, scooped it back up, and picked up another yard or two after he recovered his own fumble. I guess I can't be mad because not only did he get it back, he got a few more yards after recovering it. But I'd rather you not drop it. But yeah, I fully expect to get a lead on this team, and when we do, man, I'm going to get in my playbook. Anyway, enough of me running my mouth. In the beginning of the video, you saw I did get some new equipment from them guys. I got, uh, damn, I always forget his name. Is it David Clark? I think it's David Clark, and it's John Rice. These two young guys both came in with the Revolution helmets, with the face masks that come all down your neck. Like you playing high and catching, and you don't want a baseball to hit you in your Adam's apple. I don't know why they came out here with them goofy-ass helmets, but I hooked them up. I said, look here, man. You represent the University of Miami as Jarvis Williams dives into the end zone for his first score today. I see you represent the University of Miami, man. We got a saying out here, man. Look good, feel good, play good. And y'all brothers ain't looking too tough out here in that old equipment. Let's talk about the impact player for Florida Atlantic, Jason Driscoll. This dude right here, I got to give him his credit. You know, he kind of been cooking for this school. He kind of been cooking for this school. He can make the throws. He's a little bit mobile. And he's doing enough to get his school, you know, some dubs. Now, today he kind of got a problem. He's on the opposite end of the Miami Hurricanes, and he got trouble. But the kid can make throws. Look at this pass right here. Receiver was on the sideline. I didn't even challenge. That challenge came down from the booth. Somebody didn't feel like the kid got a foot in. Not only did he get one in, he got two. You don't even need two in college, but he got both. This dude is ready for football on Sundays. At least that's what he's saying. I don't know if that's true. We probably never see this kid again, but it sounded good. Second and short for this team, man. They're going to go play action. Driscoll steps to the side, throws another strike to the sideline. This kid is painting the hell out these sidelines, yo. Amazing throws, beautiful throws. And right here, why are you, why are you deflecting that, fam? Sit back. He threw it right to you. Catch it. Anyway, they get nothing. Kaya and the Miami offense back on the field. Look at this fullback. Get out of his way, tight end. Come on, Jerome. Get out of his way. Probably could have got another five on that. It's a 13-yard reception right there to the fullback. We come back. See, this play right here, this is one of my plays that I need to kind of get away from. I run this play a lot. Now, I'm being honest with y'all. I don't like to tell people this shit. Like, nobody wants to admit that they kind of limited. Your boy got about 12 plays, fam. I got to do better. Beautiful pass right here, though. Brad Kaya threading the needle. Throws a strike to the tight end, Jerome Washington. Look, I love myself some stand -o boy. We trapped out the stando all last season, but Jerome about to shatter all of Dubard's records. Jerome is about to shatter all of the stando's records, man. All them records finna come down. I'm sorry, Stan. This dude right here is getting it. Yeah, I think he's a little bit faster than Stan Dobart, too, so you know how that goes. 14 0 Miami, man. Let's see what Florida Atlantic can do. First of all, you don't wanna run at that dude right there. That dude hits. Like, that's a hitter. You don't really wanna run at him. They come back on second and long. Look at this hit. Sit down, boy. Big Jenkins got out there and laid the wood. No huddle offense. Uh, usually this right here gives us some trouble, but this defense this year, I think this is the best defense that we've had since I've been running this whole dynasty over here. So this defense can handle it like it's nothing. Third and short, I got a few white shirts out there. It took... The first two kind of got trucked. They got ran through or whatever. I still had another one there. Beautiful. And that's Sheldrick Redwine to come through who ended up finally getting the tackle. The running back was hurt. And Sheldrick was behind him shooting at you. Like, if that ain't Miami swag right there, I don't know what it is. I don't think he knew he hurt him. But it looked funny. 
for the guy to be injured. And in the background, you can see a Miami player throwing the U up over his head. This was a very awkward play. The offensive lineman bumped Jarvis Williams. The refs say Jarvis knee touched the ground, which of course, that's a dead ball. The play ends there. But Jarvis wasn't down. He really felt like he had some more yardage he could have picked up on the play. Felt like he could too. Braxton Berrios doing what he does better than anybody, which is catching traffic. He gets the Kings into the red zone. Mark Walton was a few inches shy of the end zone right here, so we're going to run it back. We're going to no huddle it back. We're going to do something we don't do a lot. We're going to let Brad Collier run this in, and we're doing that because we want Brad to start getting some attention and recognition for the Heisman. He's been playing phenomenal this season, and his name ain't even in the running for the Heisman, but we're about to get Brad Collier messed up, yo. Brad tried to jump over the pile. He got caught in the air and slammed on his back. But Brad's tough, man. Brad got right up like it ain't nothing. Like, that ain't even hurt Brad. 21-0. Listen here, fam. If y'all don't score right here, it's a skunk. Now Driscoll wants to show us the mobility I spoke on. The dude is pretty cold with his feet. Now, I don't know if he is cold in real life, but in this game, this cat was taking off, and he was getting somewhere. When a quarterback runs that puts that pressure on the secondary, it kind of hurts us a little bit because you got to keep an eye on the backfield. Now, I know what you're saying. Spade, just throw a spy on the dude. I could do that, but... Shut up, shut up. I ain't asked y'all to get all smart. Don't get all smarty pants on me, y'all. Hold on. First and 10. Check him out, man. Driscoll drops back. Surveys the field for a minute. Steps up in the pocket. Makes a couple of guys miss. Stiff on somebody else. And picked up about 20 yards on the scramble. That's crazy. This might be the white Mike Vick right here. This dude is crazy. Third and short, man. You see him making some pre-snap reads. Taking the snap, it's a speed option. Nobody is over there. What a great block, man. They had the edge set. They were sealed up over there, and there was absolutely nothing we could do. We couldn't get off the block. Left Florida Atlantic score. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not saying they shouldn't score, but I just feel so strong about this defense. I feel some kind of way. So we go into the half, man. The score is 24-7. Miami would get another field goal, clearly. We in control of the game, y'all. We doing what we are expected to do. I still feel some kind of way about this quarterback, though. So to start the third off, Florida Atlantic gets the ball back, of course. We took it first, and they come out looking to see if they can capitalize on what they discovered was working for them at the end of the first half. Let's see. No other offense, of course. Get the guys back to the line. Driscoll hands it off. Look at that. Oh, he broke it. I got over there. I got down there low, too, with Johnson. From the strong safety spot, I was in the backfield hitting Buddy, but he did a great job of breaking that tackle attempt. 39, they're taking a strike down the field, kids. You got to catch that, fam. I ain't mad, though. I take the deflection. At least it's not a catch. It was third down, too. So Miami in the offense, back on the field like a Herndon. Herndon been running fools over, too. That's like the second time he done trucked somebody this game. Second and five, Kaya in the empty backfield. He's got Braxton Barrios in traffic, man. Braxton is... I'm telling y'all, man, he West Welker, a Julian Edelman, a Danny Amendola, whichever one of them guys you feel like is the best. I'm still trying to figure out which is which. You know how I do. But anyway, man, that pass right there, Barrios lays out, looking like a, a damn outfielder in baseball, makes a tremendous Golden Gloves-like catch. Kaya goes right back to his new favorite target, Jerome Washington. The dude is clutch, yo. Jerome Washington, keep an eye on this kid. He is going to set records this year. I've never said that before. He is going to set records this year. Another look at that pass, man. You can see Kaya. He throwing him on a rope, y'all. It's on a line. 31-7, man. We're here in the third quarter. Let's see what they can do, man. Nice little running attack. Red wine out there getting his ass kicked by a wide receiver. You better get off that block, boy. What your block shed looking like? Get off that block. We got Greg Howard out here averaging six yards a carry against the most prolific defense in college football. That might be a stretch, but that's what I'm calling it. Still, we ain't got no business giving up six yards to carry to a Florida Atlantic running back. And I don't even want to know what Driscoll looking like on the stat sheet because the boy is taking off and he's getting somewhere. Now, we did put him in a second and long after a sack on first down. Check him out. He's operating from the gun. He want to run again. Now, wait a damn minute. Now, hold up. Hold up. Now, I don't gave you enough compliments. This just dropping back, taking off running thing, that ain't going to cut it. Like, you got to cut that out. Kaya rolling out, throwing one across the middle. You already know who it is, right? Braxton Barrios, his catching traffic is insane, man. He stayed, and every year he continued to be one of the best players on the team in terms of progression. He got so much better every year that the only thing he, he don't do well, he's slow. Like, if he had some speed... He would be scary good, man. Second and eight, Kaya throwing the Barrios again. Who has to lay out again? I'm starting to think Braxton ain't got to lay out. He doing it because he think it look cute. 
He probably got somebody taking pictures of him. He got three or four pictures of him laid out catching passes. Third down right here. Jarvis Williams is shut down in the backfield. Brings up a fourth and long, man. We got the lead. We just going to chew clock and get up out of here. Now, what? I'm not showing you guys every play because I don't want the video to be super, super long. These videos are always long because there's so much that happens and I try to show you guys so much of it so you can kind of follow the storyline of the game. But the reason why we stopped scoring at, oh my God, Sheldrick, you good? Damn. The reason why we stopped scoring as efficiently as we was is because like I told you guys, man, I got in that playbook. I started running some new stuff, you know. Anyway, fourth and short, man, Driscoll stopped. He tries to run, we didn't stop him. He didn't get it, right? He didn't get it? Did he? Oh my God, he got it. They went for it on fourth down. He picked it up with his feet. He's gonna keep the drive going. Of course, they're going no huddle. They These guys only go back to the huddle if it's a dead ball, like out of bounds or something like that. They always operate from the gun. That's a drop pass right there. That should have been an INT. Come on, guys. I need y'all to make plays. Second and 10, even though we got the game. Like, it's the fourth quarter, and I know what you're saying. You need them to make plays. It's 31-7. to seven. No, I'm trying to get these kids to finish strong, too. Like, they know they got the job. I don't want to let off the gas. But this man was painting the sidelines again, y'all. Driscoll, I see you. I don't know who their offensive coordinator is, but he was drawing up some funky stuff. I liked it. And look at 44 on the blocks right here. Two pancakes on that play. Really set the edge for Greg Howell. Greg Howell had a big day against us. At the end of the day, you know what else he got? A L, a big fat L. Him and the rest of his teammates too. So we draw the curtains on the situation, man. As you can see, Miami is victorious. I think we got a few more plays in this game that you're gonna see moving forward. Brad Kaya, an awesome 27 of 28, three TDs, no INTs. Crazy game for Brad Kaya. I didn't even speak on that during the game. Crazy, crazy game for Kaya. Anyway, folks. That is all I got for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, man, I ask you guys to bang the like. It don't take much time for y'all. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new here, man, I'm asking you. I'm flat out asking you to subscribe, man. I want you to be a member of the Wolfpack. It's what I call my supporters. To me, they're the best supporters on the tube, and I want you to be one too, fam. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.